Factory Talk Action Manager. Overview Factory Talk Action Manager provides the ability to update controller wall clocks at predefined times or periodically according to specified time intervals. With the periodic update of Factory Talk Action Manager, the wall clock time of each controller can be relatively close in order to ensure the business reports are accurate when tabulating analytics, comparing logs, and performing other time critical functions. It is known that clocks will drift at different rates as the accuracy of clocks vary between different types of controllers. The time is also impacted by temperature and battery life. The PC link is synchronized to Network Time Protocol or NTP, which is a lower fidelity alternative to SIP sync or GPS receivers. Supported controllers include Control Logics, Compact Logics, PLC, SLC, Factory Talk Action Manager Walkthrough. For this walkthrough, we will create a task that changes the controller clocks for daylight savings time. Begin by launching Factory Talk Action Manager by double clicking on the desktop icon. Sign in using either the Windows user account or a network scope account created in the Factory Talk Administration Console. Please note that the logged in username is displayed in the upper right hand corner. Configuration The configuration screen of Factory Talk Action Manager shows information about the project which you configure the project's resources and log, as well as execute the project operations of backup and restore. The project resources include tasks that define which triggers are used to initiate system operations defined by actions. A trigger is a set of criteria that, when met, starts the execution of a task. An action defines an operation that is performed when a task detects a trigger's criteria was met. A task defines the triggers used to initiate operations defined in actions. Backup backs up the current design project. Restore restores a project that has been backed up. The status of the project is shown, including the last save date and time. Log configuration allows you to select the level of data to be logged. For example, if warning is selected, the log will record error and warning data. The default selection of information will record all types of data, error, warning, audit, and information. We'll discuss the log in more detail later. Configure a trigger. Now, let's configure a trigger. Click on Triggers, then click on Create Trigger. Up to 100 triggers can be added to a project. Give the trigger a name and description. Set the type to date time based trigger. Other trigger types include Windows Task Event Trigger, where Factory Talk Action Manager can be instantiated using a Windows Task Manager event to trigger on events such as PC login or PC boot up. Additional trigger types will be implemented in the future. Configure the start date and start time for the trigger recurrence. Select the frequency of the recurrence. The options include hourly, daily, weekly, and monthly. In this example, we will select monthly and set it to every 12 months since the trigger starts on March 1st. We will also configure the trigger to occur on a second Sunday since that is when daylight savings time always occurs. 
Optionally, we can configure an end date for the trigger. Hover over the information icon at the end of the occurrence statement to see the next trigger occurrence. Information is also displayed for when the trigger was last run. Note that the last run status is displayed for each individual trigger, action, and task. Click Save to save this trigger to the project. Please note that the project can also be saved by clicking on the yellow file icon. Next, we will create a trigger for when daylight savings ends. Hover over triggers and click the plus icon to add a new trigger. The trigger to end daylight savings has been created. Configure an action. Hover over actions and click the plus icon to add a new action. Up to 100 actions can be added to the project. Please be aware of the warning shown. Changing the wall clock time of a controller involved in driver motion applications may have adverse effects. Please limit updates to when motion is suspended. Give the action a name and description. Set the type to device wall clock update. Device wall clock update sets the clock time of the configured devices to the time of the host running Factory Talk Action Manager. Click Add. There are two ways to add a device using Network Browser or Add Device Path to manually enter the path. Each device wall clock action will add no more than 1,000 devices. In this example, we will use Network Browser. Navigate to and then select a device. Then click OK. The device is added to the action. Note the device properties. The last update time is shown for the device. Actions can be exported and then imported into a new action to save design time. Click on Advanced Settings. Advanced Settings allows you to adjust the communication settings shown. Here you can account for any network delays by checking the box for Enable Communications Delay Compensation. Factory Talk Action Manager then accounts for any time delays or offsets due to network latency by writing the time, reading the time back, and then rewriting the time to the device to account for any delay. Please note that there are also settings to handle daylight saving time, time zone differences, and even a time offset. Click Cancel to close the Advanced Settings window. After selecting the checkbox to the left of the device, the device clock can be manually updated at any time by clicking the wall clock update in the action window or in the device status window after clicking on online status. Only selected devices will update. The run button will manually execute the action for all devices listed in the action. The action must be saved first before executing. Click save to save this action to the project. Next, we will create a task that binds a trigger to the action we just created. Configure a task. Factory Talk Action Manager provides flexible task configuration where one may assign one trigger to one action, one trigger to many actions, many triggers to one action, or many triggers to many actions. The individual triggers and actions can be assigned in multiple tasks. Hover over the task's resource and click the plus icon to add a new task. Up to 100 tasks can be added to the project. Give the task a name and description. You can set the priority of the task and enable or disable the task. 
Click Add under Triggers used to start actions. Select the triggers to add to the task. And then click OK. The trigger can be enabled or disabled within the task. Click the Add button under Actions to be started by the triggers. Select the actions to be added to the task and click OK. Each task can add no more than 100 triggers or actions. The task can be manually executed by pressing the Run button. However, the task must be saved first before executing. Click Save to save this task to the project. Run the task. Before we test run the task, let's check the current clock time of the controller. Note the current time shown on the controller. Back at the task configuration, Click Run to test the task. Now, let's confirm the time has been updated on the controller. Back in the Factory Talk Action Manager, go to the Set Clocks action. Check the box for the device and click Online Status. The Device Status window shows the device online status. The wall clock difference between the device and the server hosting Factory Talk Action Manager is shown, as well as the device response time and the device wall clock time and local time relative to Greenwich Mean Time, or GMT. Other device information is shown, including catalog number, device path, and firmware revision. Log. As mentioned earlier, the log shows events based on the level configured in the configuration screen. Click the icon to access the log. Hover over the severity icons to see the severity levels. The log also shows a message or description of the event provider or origin of the event, and a timestamp. The log can be exported to a text file. While in the Log tab, access the Log Filter by clicking the gray arrow in the top right under the User Login. The Log Filter allows the log to be filtered by text, workstation, severity, date, or provider to make it easy to find specific events. Now let's try an example search of the Factory Talk Action Manager log. Type DST for text input under filter. Press refresh to search the log. Now the log only shows entries containing a text string of DST. Global search function. To quickly search the project, the global search function can be used. Return to the configuration screen by pressing the gear icon. Now, to access global search, click the gray arrow in the top right under the user login. You can define the search parameters by resource types, such as trigger, action, or task. You can also specify the property of the selected resource type to search for keyword or phrase. Enter daylight savings for search text under property and text. Select search. Click on the search result to go directly to where the word or phrase is used in the project.
Select Exit to close Factory Talk Action Manager. Operation. Open Services. The Factory Talk Action Manager services run headless or independent of the graphic user interface. Configuration changes are transferred to the runtime service with the save operation. There is no need to switch between application and services mode. In summary, we have seen how to configure triggers, actions, and tasks in Factory Talk Action Manager to sync a controller's clock to the local workstation. This simple tool makes it easy to maintain time-accurate analytics and logs.